hello and welcome to this lecture in this lecture we'll implement the gameplay for our computer ai so instead of just pass which is basically the turn of the computer we'll just implement the method in order to implement the gameplay for our computer ai so first of all before doing that i want to implement some of the quick methods here and the first one is just defining as a get board copy so this get board copy basically will make a duplicate of our board list and return it as in duplicate so let's make that first so get board copy function so this get board copy will take us simply a board which is the original board and this original board will be made as in duplicate so first of all i'll say dupe board here which is in duplicate board we should be list over here and i'll just list or i'll just loop in this board that is passed while calling this get board copy and after looping i'll just append that board in our dupe board i'll just say append down and that should be appended that is every element of this board should be appended and you simply return that dupe board which is a list from this function so i'll say dupe board over here and after this next is to implement the another important function and let's do that and that should be choosing the move from the list so it should be random basically and this random move is basically for the computer so we'll just make this choose random move from list function so in this function you normally pass a board and the move list that can be given to the computer so basically what you do here is you just select a random move and based on that random move you just give it to the computer to just render it down to the board so first of all we'll just choose a random move here so this random move from list basically choose random move from list function uh, returns a valid move from the past list that is our move list on the past board and it also can return none if there is no valid move so we'll just say possible move first so let me just make a list here that is a possible moves and this possible moves will be empty list for now and i'll just loop now in our moves list that is passed over here so let me say move list and just pass it down here and i'll just check if the space is available or not so we have implemented this function before that is is space free and we'll just make use of that function here i'll just say is space free and just pass here board in order to check the space in the board and that's i so i is basically our move list so here we have to pass your i as an i so next thing is we'll just check if the space is available if it is then i'll just say possible move that is our list should append this move so i'll say possible moves dot append that move and the move that is to be appended is i so after we just append that move we'll just check for the length for that move so let's go here and we'll check for this length of this possible moves that is our list and just check for this possible moves and if the possible moves is greater than zero that means there is a move that can be implemented in the board so that means board is not fully occupied so we'll just say return also random dot choice which is the function that is provided within this random module so basically we have to now pass a sequence in this choice function so the sequence here would be the possible moves which is basically our list of the moves that are possible and next is if there isn't any move or if there is no any possible moves then what are you going to do i'll just say return none there is none possible moves so we have implemented now choose random move from the list function so let's go down into this else part which is basically a method and in this we have to just implement the 
play that is a gameplay for our computer so first of all what you're gonna do here is we'll say something that is get computer move so before that implementing over here we'll just implement the method and that would be get computer move and this basically function is really important function it is the implementation of AI here so I'll say move and it will just take a board and a computer move and computer later not a move it should take it should take a computer later and here what you're gonna do here is basically we have given a board while calling this function and we have given a computer later and it will determine where to move and basically it will return the move based on this computer move so let's implement that first we'll just say if computer later is equal equal x here that is our character so let's say if it is x that means player later will be o so we just assign this here o else player later will be obviously x so you would wonder why we just extracted this player later so it would be based on this move so based on this player later and their history of the moves in the board will make our computer ai much more smarter so we have just extracted this player later from here so next thing is we'll just implement an algorithm for our tic-tac-toe ai so first of all we'll check if we can win the game in the next move so let me just comment it out here that is i'll just say first check if we can win in next move so if it checks if we can just uh, win in the next move that means it will just render this letter in that position to win quickly so first of all what you're going to do here is we'll say something that is let me just go here and we'll make a loop here i in range 1 to 10 so let's make the range here 1 to 10 and 10 here is the excluded position that means it will just make a list of element from 1 to 9 and in this for loop or in this range of, of list of the numbers what you're going to do is we'll just make a copy of the board first so we have implement the copy board function over here that is get board copy so let's call that function first here that is get board copy function and in this get board copy you simply pass a board that is the original board and you get the duplicate of the board that is stored in this copy now it's time to check is the space free is the space free in this copy and the range or the element so if the space is free in that position we'll say make move and we'll just pass here copy which is basically our board and computer later computer later and the move so basically this make move is the function that we implemented in the couple of lectures before so it is here and this basically takes a board which in this case is basically a copy and later which is a computer letter and a move and you can go over here again and now after just checking the move we'll say something that is if is winner method so it is not made yet that winner method but we'll just say if this is the winner then we'll just say return that move so just return that move so we haven't just implemented this is winner method and we'll do in a couple of minutes now so let's go down again here and next is to check if the player could win on the next move and uh, basically based on that we have to just block them so we'll just check if player can win in next move so if it can win in the next move we have to block them so let's do this here so we'll just say first of all just we'll implement the for loop again 
to check that so for i in range that should be 1 to 10 again and to get the, all the position of the board and we just make a copy again and basically we'll just say that is get the board copy and make a copy basically all this function can be same so let me just copy this and paste it over here so instead of this uh, get board copy and a computer later what you can do here is we'll just pass a player later we'll just say player later over here and if it is a winner then we'll just return i just get that move basically and based on that move we'll just block them so next is to basically try to take one of the corner if there are free so next is to take one of corner if they are free so basically this is the advanced move that the computer can perform in order to restrict the player to win easily so if it occupies the corner then it would be really hard for the player to win game easily so let's do here so we'll just first create a move that is from this choose a random move from list function so let me just go over here so we have created function over here let's copy this and let's paste it out here so this is the move and it should be board over here so board should be passed over here and the move list so in this move list what you're gonna do is we'll just pass a corner so corner in the board are at one and three and there are basically four corners so i'll just seven and a nine so this can be the move for the corner so we'll just pass this and if i say if move is not equal none that means we'll just return the move we'll just return this move and next is to try to take basically move on the sides so let's move on sides that is basically rendering the letter that is computer letter on the sides so first we have to check for the space that is available in the board or not so is the space free and basically it will take board and the move over here is a 5 so let's go here so basically before doing that what you can do is we'll just check for the center move so first we'll just say center center move on board so if it is in the center board because 5 is the position for the center so if it is in the center that means we'll just allocate the letter that means we'll just return 5 here it is the position that is the center position so if the center position is not occupied by the player just occupy it next is the move on the sides so let me say move on one of the sides so first of all we'll just return and it should be written from this choose random move from list so let's copy this first and paste it over here and this is basically for the random move and we'll just give the board first which is our copy and we'll just put a move here so move should be in the, within this list and the side are at two four six and eight at the side so just put this down over here and we are good to go with this function that is basically get computer move and based on this get computer move we have made an ai that is basically in computer ai to perform the game so first here is it will just check if it can win in the next move by this method and next is it will just block the position if the player can win in the next move and second is it will just check for the corner it will also check for the center position it will also give or allocate the element at the side so based on this position we can just make our computer to play this game so next thing what you can do here is we'll just implement this method in this else part which is the block to play for the computer so that can be done in the next lecture so see you in the next